Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, so this is like take three. <laughs> uh, the devil really doesn't want to get this out. I've had dogs barking. I've had everything you can imagine to make me have to start over. Okay, um, I just received a word from the Lord uh, earlier this morning. And uh, even before, I, you know, he told me that he wanted to speak with me. That's that's what he does when he wants to, to give me a word. And... Um, even before he gave me this word this time, he gave me Isaiah 51, all of it, verses 1 through 23. Usually he, um, I have to pray on it for a while. If, you know, if he doesn't want it out right away, I pray on it, and then he gives me the scripture, and then he wants it out. But, okay, so he, he gave me the scripture right away this time. Uh, and before I do that, I wanted to say something real quick. Okay, I have had... One person for sure, and maybe a few other, I'm not for sure, but that come on here and, uh, you know, comment on, on two of my videos so far and have said there will be no rapture before the tribulation. You know, we got to go through the tribulation. Uh, the first video this person commented on, they left a link and saying that they're, you know, they're, they're, we would not be going through the, we would be going through the tribulation. And this time after, you know, I continue to stick to what I believe in, <laughs> Uh, they came on again and said, please listen, you know, we're not going to go through, we're not, we're going, there's no rapture before the tribulation and let the link again. Okay. So I say to anyone who believes in that we have to go through God's wrath or that we will have, have to go through, you know, um, um, mid trip or, or whatever that, you know, that's your, your opinion. I am not going to sit here and argue with you because that is not what we are supposed to do. All right, I read my Bible, all right, and what God is telling me is that we, we who are in him, we who have been waiting patiently on him, and we who have been doing his commands, and we have been trusting and believing in him, he will save us. That is what he's telling me. That is what he's telling many of you. So, if you believe, and in, in, if you do not believe in the rapture to, before tribulation, or, or whatever you believe in, if it goes against what I believe in, that's fine. That's your opinion. And like I said, I will not sit here and argue with you. I will not entertain these comments and argue with you. Because we are not supposed to do that. We are supposed to lift each other up. We are supposed to lift the bride of Christ up. Encourage one another, not argue. We are supposed to love and encourage one another. So, from now on, I will not entertain any of the comments that say stuff like that. Okay, so, okay, here it goes. Dear daughter, write down my words with a vigorous intensity. Listen to what the Spirit of the Lord Almighty has to say. Children of the Lord God Almighty, cry out for the lost and the brokenhearted. The day has come and judgment awaits all. I shall judge all peoples with my righteous right hand. It shall be a day of glory and praise for you and I, my children, but a day of total death and destruction like never, ever before in history for those who will remain here. Listen, my children. Cry out that my will be done. Cry out that righteousness Take its place over evildoers. Cry out to me, my children. Tell me your frustrations, your worries, and your cares. For you see, you can lay all of that down at my feet. Listen, my children. You do not have to carry that. Lay it down. Lay it down at the feet of the one who sits upon the throne. Your time is almost over here, my true children. By now, every one of my true children should know who they are. It is also easier to spot your fellow true brothers and sisters in me, isn't it? For I have brought you all to this point for a reason. I have given you the ability to recognize the true children in me. I have shown you that you are not alone in the ways that you have been feeling. I have brought certain brothers and sisters together and shown them that they feel the same things. Can you sense why? 
Can you now feel the so very nearness of my return? I do all things for your benefit and to my glory. Keep your faith and trust in me no matter what. Keep your faith and your trust in me. For I have come, oh, excuse me, brothers and sisters, for here I come, my children, here I come, look up and rejoice, my bride, rejoice, your eternal king and all, excuse me, your eternal king in all glory, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, God Almighty, whew, okay, brothers and sisters, so, yeah, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit right now. Praise God Almighty. You know, I just... He is really coming. And, and, and I didn't mean to get so... Um, <laughs> intense earlier. I just... Um, you know, I just... I, 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 I get a righteous anger for those who want to come on here on YouTube. And want to argue. And want to, you know, nitpick. And, 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 and don't want to do anything but... You know, they don't want to build up the body of Christ. I just have a righteous anger for that because we are so very near, brothers and sisters. And how hard it is for us right now, how much we're going through, how how much attacks we're getting, how how hard it is to just live today. You know, how hard it is to wake up in the morning and realize we're still here. You should want to build up that body of Christ. You should want to encourage them. Not fight. Not fight. Okay, brothers and sisters, I love you all so very much. You know, let, let us encourage one another. Let us build each other up. Because he's coming at any moment. He's coming at any moment. Those that are truly in him, he has shown that too. He has given eyes to see and ears to hear for this reason he has brought us together he has brought certain brothers and sisters together for a reason you know be grateful and praise his name praise his name praise his name praise his name i love you all so very much shalom